So regarding the announcements um, about withdrawals from the ICC, um, there are different elements that has to be highlighted. Um, one of them is on the legal uh, basis, which is that a withdrawal is effective only one year at least after uh, the deposit of the withdrawal instrument with the Secretary General of the United Nations. And um, that means that um, the, the um, effective withdrawal uh, is only affecting uh, the future, affecting the fact that the court will not be able to offer legal protection for the victims of potential crimes that might be committed after this date. Well, the president of the Assembly of States Parties has called uh, these different states to reconsider their position and to bring uh, their concerns and preoccupation to the discussion within the forum of the Assembly of States Parties. And of course, uh, the president of the IACC has also explained that uh, the need to engage um, with the court and to continue the support and the cooperation with the court is essential uh, to actually provide more justice in, in the world. With regard specifically to Africa, uh, uh, the court uh, has engaged in several investigations mainly regarding African situations because of the request coming from the African governments themselves. And this is a fact that is worth uh, explaining and putting forward. Uh, the court started investigations based on the request of Uganda, uh, Democratic Republic of the Congo, uh, Mali, Central African Republic twice. Um, and very recently, Gabon also has uh, also asked the ICC prosecutor to open an investigation. So you see there is a strong demand from the African uh, states and African governments. Also, there has been um, referrals by the Security Council uh, regarding Libya and Darfur in Sudan.